Hey everyone, welcome back to the Golf House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny and today we're doing a canning video. I don't do a ton of canning in the month of December because I'm so focused on baking. <laughs> but we're gonna do a canning video and today we are gonna turn mincemeat into a jam. It's very traditional. This one does not have meat, I will tell you. It is just a fruit version of mincemeat and it is delicious. Let me show you how I make it. Okay, in this pan I have five and a half cups of chopped apples. I am putting in two cups of cold water and I'm gonna put in three cups of raisins. And I have golden raisins, regular raisins, you can put in whatever kind of raisins you like. Sultanas, if you have them, I think they're about the same thing as a raisin. Okay, three cups of raisins. I'm gonna zest and juice a whole lemon. Now this mincemeat is nice because we're not putting any meat in there. So this is gonna have no meat, no suet. If you wanted to do that, you could, hey, you could put in some good cuts of beef and then you'd have to pressure can it. Um, I'm doing mine without it and no beef suet either. But just the, the spices and the fruits. Also, no pectin in here. We're just gonna cook this down until it thickens on its own naturally. I've already got my jars in the canner and um, they're just kind of simmering. I do it early and let them go while I'm getting everything else ready. Okay, I'm gonna cut these and I'm gonna juice them. I'm gonna do my lemon first. Okay, here goes the oranges. My zester doesn't, or my juicer doesn't fit a big orange. I cannot wait till this is done. We're gonna totally have to keep some of this out. <laughs> got one teaspoon of ground ginger, and then I've got fresh nutmeg. I'm just gonna grate right in. I'm hoping for like mm, half a teaspoon-ish. I'm gonna put about three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon in here and about a quarter teaspoon of clove. My fave. Okay, I'm gonna get this on. Maybe, maybe not. Whew. And I will add the sugars after cooking these for a little bit. Um, I just wanna get the fruits kind of cooked and concentrated down a little bit. If you wanted to, you could use apple juice or apple cider instead of water also. Or you could use cranberry juice. You could probably use some dried cranberries. You like to throw those in. Um, half raisins, half cranberries, or all cranberries, whatever you like. Um, minced meat is basically just minced dried fruit and spices. It doesn't always contain meat. I'm gonna bring this to a boil. I've got it on high. I'm gonna bring this to a boil and then I'm gonna turn it down and let it cook at a medium low for about 20 minutes. Okay, our fruit has been cooking for 20 minutes and the raisins have absorbed most of the water. So we're gonna get our sugar in. I'm gonna be adding three and a half cups of just granulated sugar. Okay, there's my three and a half cups of sugar. I am now going to add a half a cup of full flavored molasses. If you don't like molasses flavor, you can totally leave this out. But I love it. I'm 
I have got my pan set on a medium low. I'm going to bring it to a boil and I'm going to turn it down to a medium and then um, let it go until it thickens. So as soon as it's ready, I'll be back. So I brought this to a boil after I put the sugar in and I turned it down. It's on a three and I think we're there already. Yeah, we're there. So it starts coming off in a little sheet. Maybe one more minute. I just don't want it to get too thick. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off. It just goes quick and I have actually overset strawberry jam before, so. <laughs> okay, let's get canning. Okay, we're looking for just a quarter inch head space. This smells so good, and by the way, I have already tasted it, and it is super delicious. Um, I no longer think I can live without this. <laughs> Just to let you all know. <laughs> Okay, I have got six half pints. Uh, I actually decided to leave one out because it is super delicious and we want to eat it. So, turning up my heat and I am going to process these guys 15 minutes. Okay, these guys are done. And they are deep and dark from the molasses and the raisins. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I cannot tell you. I cannot stress enough how good this is. Sorry, you can probably hear dinner going in the background there. It's hamburger night. <laughs> So there are my six gorgeous jars. This one is cooling off. I didn't can that one. I'm gonna leave that in the fridge. But that's what it looks like. It is so good. Oh my gosh, I am in love with this. If you're in the mood for a new jam, this is a must try. All right, that's all there is to this mincemeat jam. It's so beautiful, super delicious, and you can use this for gift giving. You can decorate your jars, you can put them in baskets with cookies, homemade bread, whatever you want. But it's super festive. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot and I sure do appreciate your support. If you haven't started following me on Instagram yet, you should at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook and you can visit my blog for all of my recipes at JennyGoff.com, including this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.